Good morning, would you like a cup of coffee or a latte? I drink coffee all the time. I just saw in the New York Times that coffee drinkers may live longer. I want to live forever. Really? Huh. I find that hard to believe that drinking coffee may make me live longer. What about things like exercise? Or if they smoke? A lot of coffee drinkers also smoke. They controlled for that. The researchers had over 400,000 participants and controlled for smoking, eating red meat, drinking alcohol, and even exercising. It was a big study. They said the more coffee I drink, the less likely I'll die from things like diabetes, heart disease, respiratory disease, stroke, infections and even injuries. I'll live forever. Oh. What? Correlations are frequently used in the media to point out relationships between two variables that are associated, but may not be easily determined as having a causal relationship. Correlations establish a dependent relationship between two things. Dependence is only to say that the variables have a meaningful relationship that can maybe predict outcome. So drinking more coffee doesn't mean I will live longer? I thought that the article says that drinking coffee makes me live longer since people who drink it tend to live longer. No, uh, it can't indicate antecedents, so it doesn't know which can cause what. Does drinking more coffee make you live longer? Or do people that live longer drink more coffee? And it doesn't think about the possibility of a third variable affecting the relationship. Maybe people who live longer and drink more coffee also go to doctor more, or who knows. Oh man. Well I really like coffee, so at least the study shows that drinking it is somehow good for me, right? I mean, there's a tendency that it shows, to say the least. No. The study here only shows that people in the study who drink more coffee are also people who live longer lives. It doesn't mean it's good for your health. It's not for sure. It's just pointing out two variables that have a strong positive relationship. These kinds of relationships are commonly determined by a method called the Pearson's correlation. Okay, well I'll read more carefully from now on. Those correlations seem helpful, but tricky. So does that mean you don't want a latte? I heard that drinking milk makes you strong. What? Didn't you understand anything I said? The same thing goes for milk or any other two variables you are trying to compare. Just kidding. 